what happened till now in the last four or five years is the cloudification of the core network. Now, all the major operators of the world who have deployed LTE or 4G, what they did was, so if you see, this is the uh, traditional architecture diagram of LTE. Uh, and it can be seen into two parts, like Utron or RAN is here, and your EPC or core network is here. So what they, what they did is that they kept the RAN into the traditional way, all the proprietary hardware, proprietary software, proprietary cabinets, everything. But for the core part, they converted this core from traditional or legacy boxes to the telco cloud. So in telco cloud, what they did, they converted the legacy boxes into VNFs. So this is a VM and a group of VM can be called as a VNF. So those VMs were created on top of uh, bare metal servers, which are also called as COT servers, Linux servers, right? Uh, it can be from HP, IBM, Dell, any vendor. And on top of these servers, we create VMs. We group those VMs and connect them in, in the network and a group of VM is called as a VNF. So for example, if you can do a correspondence from this uh, box to this box here, let's say this is VNF1 and this is MME. Okay, so MME, which was uh, a legacy box here, is now working as a VNF here. Uh, similarly, this is another VNF, this is another VNF, might be PCRF or SGW or PGWs. So in a data center, you have this cloud rack installed, and on this cloud rack, the whole core network is working for a particular circle and the ran is still distributed traditionally right so what we achieved here vnf of any vendor can be deployed on cloud rock of rack of any vendor and we call it nfv network function virtualization okay so this was the trend till 4g okay when ran was still proprietary and the core network was majorly cloudified majorly now going forward in 5g what we are going to achieve is, so if you consider this as a 5G uh, network diagram or architecture diagram, wherein you have all the core components here, okay, you have the SMF and UPF, that means uh, the user plane functions here, and the RAN here, G node B is your RAN, okay. So what we are going to do is that your core network is still, um, uh, be the, will still be the same, but there is one change, which is that from VNF, now they will be uh, called as CNF. So CNF is containerized network function or cloud native network function or officially containerized VNF is also called as CNF. So these are the three full forms. Uh, we won't go into the argument that which one is right. Okay. So now the VMs are converted into containers. Okay, so it is a change at the developer's level. Uh, we have to change the image from a VM image to a container image now. So the at code level, at image level, these changes are there, but the infrastructure is going to remain same. On the same COT servers, on the same boxes, you just need to deploy a, a container engine and on top of the container engine, you run your CNFs. So just like VNFs were group of VMs, CNFs are group of containers or or group of pods in Kubernetes terminology. So uh, to maintain these CNFs, you have Kubernetes, which, which will act as a container manager. So your whole core network like AUSF or PCF or AMF, NEF, all these core components can be deployed in exactly similar way uh, on, on the cloud data center as there were VNFs in 4G. Uh, core network okay but this time in 5g we have achieved something which is called as open ran or one step back which is virtualized ran okay so a virtualized ran can be open can be non open both okay so let's consider here open ran wherein you have only one hardware component now which is ru your radio unit so ru will still remain proprietary hardware okay uh, it will be specific to every vendor but the rest whole software part, that means uh, the BBU, which was traditionally the BBU, is now split into three parts, DU, CU, and RIC. So DU is the distributed unit, which is the software function uh, near to the radio unit. And CU is the centralized unit, which is a software function near to the core network. 
and Rick is RAN intelligent controller. So what will happen now? These three components will also be deployed in the form of CNFs, okay? Which was not the case earlier until 4G, okay? So just like we have a big cloud rack here, let's say this can be a cloud rack with 50 COT servers or 100 COT servers. A two server rack or a three server rack will be deployed on every cell site, wherein we will deploy DU, CU and RIC for that particular site. So a miniature form of this cloud rack will be deployed in at every uh, cell site where G node Bs are installed, or we can club two to three G node Bs in the same uh, infrastructure here. Okay, and that's why in some uh, in some operators terminology, this is also called as edge cloud. Okay, so because the edge, uh, the the small form of this data center is deployed at the edge of the network, and that edge cloud is further connected with your core cloud. So all the functions will remain same at uh, the telco application level, but on the infrastructure level, you have these two differences. The first difference is, is the conversion of VNF to CNF. And the second difference is the cloudification of the RAN, wherein the DU, CU and RIC will be deployed in terms of CNFs and not in terms of your legacy uh, RAN software component.